Hi everyone, let me know if you can hear me or see me. I hope everyone's doing okay. Still figuring out Melon, just where we've been streaming for everyone wondering. No, um... Okay, I still haven't got the hang of it. But how is everyone doing? This is nice, this is lovely. It's been a week and I'm back. Uh, and today we're going to talk about the history of books which is something you can also see on the channel, um, on the display here. I'm quickly going to check if you guys can hear me, see me. Do like the stream, guys. Up to many specifically uh, per Dalby there. Uh, yes. Okay. Let me know if you guys can see me, hear me. And okay. Nobody's confirming. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Stevie the Great. Um, I hope I'm audible. Hi, Abhay. Hi, Ashish. Hi, more info. Hi, Arvin. Uh, Abhay is asking the right questions. Skincare stream. When is it happening? I'm not sure. We'll be doing it soon. Uh, we had asked for 10 to 15 comments. I don't think there were 10 to 15 comments on last week's stream, so I'm not sure. But let's see. Uh, okay, everything is good. I'm audible. Great. Oh, wow. How do I? So I'm still getting the, uh, okay. Hi, Ashvi. It's nice to see you. So you can see the, uh, the, the title of the stream today. We're going to discuss the history of books. Uh, with me, I have, and I will have, Ishan, who runs this amazing channel, Karva, on uh, YouTube. And uh, yes, he, he is a student of history. And uh, my Siri just woke up. I'm so sorry. But yeah, he's a student of history and we'll have him shortly uh, over here with us. And he'll be talking about the history of books. And for those of you who were here last, during the last stream, um, he was also in the chats. So we'll be talking about the history of books. Uh, we will be talking about a couple of movies. And we will also be talking about perfumes of all the things and of course skincare. But yes, Abhay said there are 10 to 15 comments. No, there are not. Or maybe I'll just go and check and perhaps on Saturday, Bebam and I can do a skincare stream on Kitabi Cabins. Let me know if you would like that. Uh, anyways, uh, there's also this sticker that's running. Like, comment, share and subscribe for good luck, which you must. I couldn't think of anything better to say today. So just do it for good luck. <laughs> Nothing else. As a US visa will get rejected. <laughs> okay, without wasting your time, I'm just going to call Ishan now on the stream. And hi, Ishan. How are you? <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Hello, hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm also fine. What's up? Kaisa chal raya? I heard you moved cities. Yeah, yeah, I'm in Baroda. Everything is good. Or we're very zoomed in. I got scared. If you want me to zoom out, I can do that also. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's zoom out. So that no one can see us. Is this okay? Ah, this is much better, yeah. yeah I'm, nice. good. I'm in Baroda, which is a very hot place to be. Mm -hmm. So the fan is running at its peak. Wow. But it's still very hot. Nice. Uh, it's in the north here, winter start hone wale. Pankhe band ho chuke. Uh, at least yeah. for someone like me, it's a hot and I was going to wear a sweater for this stream, but then I thought maybe I should just relax a little. And not scare everyone. <laughs> but what's your favorite time of the year? What's your favorite season? See, my favorite season is winters. Because they don't have to be in the house. Okay, it's their okay. hibernation time. So the best time oh. of the year is when you don't see those lizards roaming around your room. And in my library, you get a lot because those like, so I don't go to my library during yeah. uh, summers. I hate that room. Nice. So winter is the best. Well, that's a very interesting um, reason to like winters. <laughs> yeah. And also because all the literature festivals happen around this yeah. time. What it's are the upcoming happening. literature festivals? I know of the Mumbai Lit Live Festival uh, that Tata Lit 
festival that is happening in Bombay, I think from 12th November, 12th, 13th. Uh, okay. In Bombay in J January, May, you have the JLF, the best of all the literature festivals. Yeah. Then you also have in Baroda, you have the Bukaro. Uh, There's Kerala. also the Kerala Lit Fest no, that happens yeah, in, yeah. in January, I think. Yeah, I'm aiming yeah. for that one. <laughs> but let's uh, see. Yeah, I might be going to the uh, Kerala Literature Festival this time. Nice, I nice. That's nice. And uh, what else has been up? You were supposed okay. Also, guys, let me know what your favorite um, time of the year is, and for what reason. I hope it's not winters because of the same reason that Ishan quoted. But yeah, you're right. Both sare animals hibernate exactly. during that era. Yeah, reptiles. <laughs> I I think I really like the winters because it reminds me of school vacation back in uh, the school back days. In old days. Uh, old school days. days. <laughs> Yeah, we, we would have our December, January, <clears throat> Feb off. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Yash is asking, when is the festival in Baroda? Is there anyone uh, who's joining us from Baroda as well? Please let us know in the comments. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would be interesting to see Baroda people taking interest in YouTube lives. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think the, the festival in Baroda starts from this Sunday, I think. This Sunday or next Sunday. It's the Bukaro Children's Festival. Uh, okay. They also have the Sayaji Literature Festival in Baroda, which is organized by MSU, Maharaja Sayaji Rao University, okay. my university. I don't know the dates of that, but I'll update it on my Twitter or something soon, once the dates are out. So guys, do follow Ishan and uh, his you YouTube channel, which is in the, yeah, the, the links are in the description. planning in Baroda soon. So, yeah. <laughs> So would you so I know you moved from Delhi and Delhi you had a proper base where you would do a lot of activities. Are you planning any activities like that in Baroda as well? Yeah, we are planning to start heritage walks in Baroda and okay. uh, we will surely do some more lectures offline in Baroda. We are planning we are searching for venues. So the biggest concern is uh, you know, getting resources for uh -huh. all of us, for all the online organizations and uh, platforms. Got it. Nice. And um, without, I don't know, I just realized I had invited you for discussing the history of books. Mm -hmm. And uh, where do you want to start? Like, why were you, um, because this was just a random comment you had posted last yeah, week on the stream. And I was like, hey, that's such an interesting topic. But now that I think about it, where do we actually start? Where do we go from here? The history of books, where do we start? So history of books, I was discussing this with a professor in Delhi University who teaches history of books okay. as, a, as, as, a as a subject. Paper, okay, as okay. a paper in MA history. Nice. And what he was mentioning was quite interesting because he comes from the Northeast, uh, from Manipur. And he yeah. says that, uh, and he mentioned that what is happening in the Northeast is many states, especially Manipur and Assam, they are kind of boycotting and cancelling the Bengali script, which is used to write their language. So, like we right. use Roman script for writing Hindi on WhatsApp. So they are replacing that script with their own local script and their own oh. local language. Mm -hmm. So the word remains the same, but the script changes. Right. And those words might not have the same meaning in the local language of the tribal languages. Mm -hmm. So you have the same book written in three different uh, scripts or four different scripts. Wow. One is the tribal script, same language written in tribal, like Hindi is written in different scripts. Mm -hmm. so you have the same thing written in tribal, same thing written in Bengali, same thing written in English and then Hindi. Okay. So, so he was talking that and uh, that's how we came to the discussion of history of books and how this was prevalent, especially when Britishers were ruling us and in the Northeast, they were writing their own books and translating them at the same time. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. And about history of books, you can, you can go on and on about Indus Valley and you have so many, you know, uh, stone inscriptions, but the language we do not know. Researches are going on for the last 90, 100 years. Uh, 2021 marked the 100th year of the discovery of the Indus. And we still have no clue about the language. We, we think that it's proto-Dravidian, something to do with the Dravidian language, but we don't know exactly what it is. 
and mm -hmm. it's, it's fascinating to see but if we get we, if we decipher that someday i think that would change the entire course of history and how we understand our past so what's your to... most interesting uh, what topic interests you the most when it comes to history for me it's the uh, it's it's the freedom struggle of 1940s 1950s the most eventful years of india of so british india the indus valley civilization is nowhere there yeah but because it's i'm not into archaeology and i think as an old school history yeah. student that one should keep their expertise in mind while studying the past otherwise you would yeah. become a, a wo, kya kehte hain jo general store wale hote hain fortune yeah. wale ki aapke paas namak bhi milega mirchi bhi milega but you won't have any usp so <laughs> history mein, i think usp having an expertise is very important my my yeah. expertise is modern india but i do read uh, ancient india medieval india proto history and pre history everything thanks and uh, would you what have you been reading recently recently i am um, i'm reading because i have to complete my assignments also so i was reading three books on historiography of understanding how uh, one writes history so you have mark block writing the historian's craft during the nazis and the world war 2 and he was he was killed captured and killed by the nazis in 44 1944 uh, uh, and he wrote a book it was an unpublished uh, unfinished book when they mm -hmm. found the manuscript and then his friend lucien febre which was who was also part of the annals school of historiography they kind of uh, completed the the book and then it was published and it's one of the best books on historiography and understanding how and why a historian functions Uh, and then there's a wonderful book called What Is History, which I recommend to everybody, uh, which talks about the the main the main crux is what is a historical fact. Like we are doing this chat might not be a historical fact, but Shashi Tharoor talking to you might become a historical fact in in future. Okay. It's because people like me might write down somewhere in some book, and people might read it and then relate to it. Nice. Yeah, that those are the two books that I am reading. But apart from that, I read a book called Nehru and the Spirit of India by Manash uh, Firak Bhattacharji. Okay. He is in JNU. He was in JNU. Mm -hmm. And because Nehru, pe, there are so many books now that you forget the count of so many books coming out on Nehru, of different perspectives, different ideas of Nehru. So okay. this book, I think, is by far one of the best. If you talk on Nehru, in present time, of course, not not. And what know. is what does it talk about the book? It talks about Nehru's own, uh, you know, ideas of different problems and different things that he faced while India was being uh, India. India mm -hmm. got its independence. There were so many issues that India faced: economic, social, political. So how Nehru kind of struggled through those and um, nice. came with this idea of India. Got it. That that's very interesting. And is there any books that you currently read or are reading that you would hundred and ten percent would you would want anyone and everyone who's listening to the stream to pick up? Recently, uh, see, I I would I would recommend a book which I read when I was in Kanpur last month. Uh, it's not a new book. It's an old book. I think that came out last year, last last year. So it's it's. Old in that sense, but it's called Lost Loves, uh, exploring Rama's anguish in the Ramayana. So you know, because the first chapter itself is very interesting, where she talks about Arshya Sattar, who is a beautiful, wonderful uh, translator. She mm -hmm. talks about whether Ram knew that he was a god, because Krishna knew that he was a god, but did Ram know that he is a god, and did he? Uh, did his actions kind of show show us that he was a god he thought he was a god but that was not the case he, she mentions in the book ram was also a human being and he was very sad when ravana took his wife then you have the whole story of that vanvas and how he kind of uh, laments about sita and she he, she also talks about dashrath's anguish when 
his wife asked ke ram ko you send it to vanvas it was his his love for his wife that kind of overpowered his love for his son so how did dashrath make that decision of sending ram to the forest so such interesting takes on ramayana are very worthwhile reading so i would recommend everybody because what happens is uh, uh, and i speak without a pause that uh, ram is a central character both in our religion uh, religious practices and political practices all sorts of things ram becomes the news every day so you get to know the human side of ram through books of arshya sattar so there's another book that i have on my desk right now arshya i'll just pick it up maryada searching for dharma in the ramayana what does dharma mean uh, and what did it, did it mean to ram and to lakshman to bharat and to other to sita so yeah those are the books by arshya sata that you should read 110% you should read nice that's very interesting and those are very interesting books sishan yeah you, yeah <laughs> and you also, you also read a lot of mythology right if i yeah. based on your previous recommendations in the bandarwaza sessions and other sessions yes and i highly recommend people to be part of the chalchitra uh, subscription models because they do so interesting sessions i was a, i was a patron for a long time and finally i got this opportunity to be on a kitabi cabin so please be a part because you are missing out on a lot of interesting conversations that happen behind the closed door open darwaza session mein so many so many interesting thank conversations you. that's that's so kind of you <laughs> thank you but yeah you you talk about a lot of mythology and you've spoken about it a lot in the past also and what are your favorite books from there if somebody like me who doesn't know a lot of mythology only knows like the superficial side of things and yeah. if somebody like me wants to uh, read good mythology what i would recommend there are so many books on mythology firstly there are so many translations of uh, sanskrit epics and uh, scriptures so i like and like on mahabharata you have chaturvedi badrinath writing vivek debroy translating uh, literally translating uh, you know uh, the the epics so the, mm-hmm. i don't like the literal translations that come out and that are best okay. sellers of like vivek debroy or pavan verma so i'm not i'm not interested in literal word to word translations and then creating okay. i'm more into critical thinking about the you know questioning okay. the epic okay. maybe and seeing epic as part of a wonderful literature rather than history of course because then again it's a it's a debatable theme that would you accept it as a historic text or you see it as a completely literature thing so i i would completely rate it as a literature thing which of course has beautiful stories i think whoever wrote it was a great writer and he should give he should be given the man booker or whatever book prize that he wants to give <laughs> it a prize for literature <laughs> yeah yeah so i think I, my fascination for uh, mythology relates to the kind of debate and discussions that you do after reading it so i would recommend people like arshia and even vivek does good uh tra- literal translation so if you are into literal translations i would recommend vivek and pavan verma uh vivek has done other kind of other scriptures also not just the epics but upanishads or or other different canonical texts as we call it in history nice that's very interesting there are popular books there are yeah. academics also like uh, if people are interested and if they have money to get academic books which are little bit expensive than popular books i would recommend you kanad sinha's from dasarajanya to kurukshetra making of a historical tradition uh mm-hmm. it talks about mahabharata's narrative uh traditions because what we think of mythologies is that there is only one narrative to the mythology that there is only one book mm-hmm. mahabharata ramayana exist in more than 300 manuscript 300 different manuscripts and stories uh, and there's a beautiful essay that i would recommend all of you to read i rec- i'm recommending so many things i am i'm i'm forgetting the count of things i'm recommending 
but if you get yeah. Ramanujan's uh, 300, 300 Ramayanas in five examples is a, an article that you should read to understand oh, okay. the diversity. Ramanujan's uh, some book on yeah. I do uh, the Indian epics retold. Uh, so it, it might be there. Uh, the, this essay might be there in that, which okay. talks about 300 different stories of Ramayana. In okay. one, you have uh, the, the, the the father of Sita is Dashrath, and mm -hmm. Ram is uh, kind of stealing Sita from Dashrath. Uh, sorry, from from Ravan. So Ravan is yeah. the father of Sita uh, in one of these epics, in one wow. of these narrative traditions. That's, in one, that's you have a very interesting. Yeah, so there are so many different stories of Ramayana, and we only consider the Sanskrit narrative as the original. Ultimate, yeah. But these books allow you to kind of think that, you know, there could be different stories. You've convinced me to go back and pick up the crate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ramanujan is just fantastic. Yes, he is. One of the best but... essayists in the nation. He was. Yes. But coming back to, you've also been watching a lot of movies, right? You wanted to talk about them. Yeah, I, I'm watching. I've, I've made a list of films that I've watched because I keep forgetting films that I watch. Yeah. Yeah, I, I recently watched a film called uh, Last Film Show. Okay. It's a Gujarati film and it's India's official entry to the Oscars. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. And uh, you all must watch it if you get it get, get it mm -hmm. somewhere. Um, Chello Show is the Gujarati title. Chello Show, last film show by Pan Nalin, uh, is a film that everybody should watch. Then I, I recently watched because I think PVR did a film festival on Amitabh Bachchan's uh, 80th birthday this year. Mm -hmm. They showed Amitabh Bachchan's film. So I watched Millie for the first time. And fortunately, Jayaji was also there in the audience. So we kind wow. of with Jayaji in, in Bombay, 1975 ki film. Hai. Uh, it's, it's one of the best films of Rishi Kesh Mukherjee. So I, I watched that. I watch a lot of films on, on Netflix. So I think on Netflix or on, uh, on Amazon Prime, there's this film called uh, Madhuri Dixit's film called Majama that came out very recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about it. It's about her lesbian uh, relationship and how she is discovering her own identity in some senses. Mm. So I think it's, it's a brave attempt. Uh, but, you know, don't talk about the LGBTQIA plus identities in cinema yeah. that much. But uh, Madhuri Dixit is making a bold statement. She was a you know the chart buster for a long time in the nineties. Now come doing a come back in 2022 and she's doing such a bold role. True. It's not a good film in the sense that it doesn't really speak <laughs> of the thing. But, but it's it, a nice attempt. You would a, say. a nice attempt, yeah. But I would not call it the representation that we need, but yeah. at least something, nice. then but, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, nice. yeah, those are the films that I, I recently watched. PS One by Mani Ratnam. Was it was it good? I was actually planning. I wanted to go watch it, but uh, I got very late because I think I was. By the time I came back, the only uh, they were streaming it only in Tamil. I think no mm -hmm. Hindi shows were available, so I was unfortunately not able to watch it. But is no, it I watched it in good? Tamil only. I, I watched it in Tamil with English subtitles, uh, which I think I I love subtitles more than dubbing because it makes it worse in India, especially. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, so, I, I, Subtitling is a but Sometimes it's fun to watch them. So yeah, like, sometimes you're like, film, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember, so you know, like how Marvel at one point was this whole syllabus you have to uh, revise before watching the next movie. Yeah, yeah. And I would, uh, and there were certain movies which I discovered when I was watching the Infinity Wars that I had to go back and watch them in Hindi because no English subtitles were available at that time. And that is when I discovered how entertaining they are. Yeah. Because they are entertaining. <laughs> so I remember yeah, I when, asked when when I yeah. said, I want to watch Marvel. 
my friend gave me a whole list chronologically ki you should start with iron man 1 2 3 then go back to this film that film captain marvel and it's it's fun it's and very interesting i never watched it i only saw iron man 1 2 after that i lost interest in the marvel universe <laughs> I straight away watched uh, Spider-Man far away from home and I think you would I think you will like Thor. Uh it's about Norse mythology. I think mm-hmm. you will. And there are so many small references which I tiny references which I think you will be able to understand better than I was because of your relation to history. But in Thor in Thor and in general a lot of other places also there are so many uh references that you will actually be able to decipher. I have to go and watch a YouTube video. Iron Man is, I think, one of the best action. Uh, it is. It is. No, no. For your film. But if you watch all the movies, that's when you realize why. So when I went uh, to watch Endgame, uh, have you seen Endgame? No. Oh. But feel free to give the spoilers. I'm not going to. Watch I'm it. not going to give you the spoilers. But I was crying in the first thirty seconds of the movie because I relate emotionally to the uh, to the whole. Uh, Marvel universe to, to what it was once upon a time because I grew up watching these movies as a child and to see you know like this is how it's ending. So I started crying in the first thirty seconds and I felt very embarrassed. I was really embarrassed. A minute later, I hear sobs coming through, and I turn, look to my left, and this guy sitting next to me is crying like a five-year-old crying for candy. and i was like no okay i'm not the only one <laughs> i am not the only one <laughs> but it was so um, it was nice to be part of something that was beautiful yeah but i think uh, i i didn't watch those films when i was a young kid but because I- because in kanpur you didn't have you didn't have those i used to watch these in star one and st- i think star one was where you would uh, maria there was a local channel that continued till 2010 i remember it's yeah. i don't know what it was called ktv or something and okay. they used to show all sorts of weird films so we and, and multiplexes were not there till 2008 and i think 2010 Yeah, so I think even I we had theaters. We do not have multiplexes until I was in class tenth. But we would yeah. come like winters, May and holidays. So these movies mostly used to release over like important holidays, like Christmas and everything. Yeah. So we would be mostly in the. It would be accessible, but the, yeah. the only film, the only uh, fantasy superhero kind of film that I watched in theater. when i was young was harry potter and the deathly hallows part 2 never seen harry potter <laughs> part 2 i've always seen harry potter only on pogo <laughs> they will kill me after this but um, i heard that they have uh, closed down cartoon network is they discontinued cartoon network which was really? part of our childhood for a very long time so i'm trying for them Oh yeah, we we had great TV shows. We had great TV shows. Yeah. We had great cartoons. The current generation, I don't know what they're on. They are watching. I don't know what Motu Patlu and they're watching Ogi oh, and oh, the cockroaches. Ogi, oh, my God, <laughs> Sunil Shetty's uh, you know mimicry is horrible. I I don't know. No. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel bad for them because they won't be able to. But anyways. we won't comment about that. how was the cricket match today did you like it <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to comment on that maybe the cricket match I, i we were very hopeful we had a, an assignment submission today we asked the professor to leave us early so that we could go and see the match at our place on oh, hotstar or whatever and she did that hoping that we would win and there would be a you know a all india kind of uh, closure on sunday for the india pakistan finals okay. we were very hopeful i think wo thoda nazar lag gaya hamara hi team ko nahi nahi i think it's okay we had a player rahul then mohammad shami and then everything went down after you the know, night this is i think it's me because for the first time in history i've been watch i've been following cricket actively <laughs> 
So much so, it was not only all the matches that India played. I've even seen New Zealand versus Ireland. I watched I watched Ireland play of all the teams. I was watching all the matches. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I was there when there was some Irish guy who had this T-shirt about Aussies and the flies. I don't know, <laughs> but I, I saw all the batches, so it was. Yeah, today is my first disappointing for a lot of us. And no, I, England, I, England was really England. England, England it was a happy. yeah. It was a great day for England, though. Like they, I don't check out Twitter now. Full of memes. I love those memes. I, I saw the. I couldn't. I I had to. I had to shut off Hotstar. I was watching it on Hotstar. I had yeah, to I shut off Hotstar while when um, India was fielding. I I couldn't. Horrible bowling. I don't know. Only Pandya was the uh, was a ray of hope for a long time. Pandya is very consistent. Yeah, it's it's great. It's nice. It's lovely. I I hope. I hope Pakistan wins. At least some some of us. might celebrate because you know it's the it's this the continent winning over the colonizers yeah. yeah i mean yeah <laughs> i don't it's know it's just it's very sad but then at the same time you can't really blame anyone even though you, yeah. let's just moving on <laughs> yeah what about okay there's this uh, comment that i want to read um it's by Shantanu, there's a theory why cartoons these days aren't so good as old ones. All older cartoons had content that was relatable to adults as well. Hmm, I haven't heard of this theory. What, what do you think? But I used to watch what is it, uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was also very sad, uh, and I think uh, the seniors would feel the same way about it. But why I loved because it was that time school ka time hota tha. So when we yeah. थिंक because my sister used to watch it so uske saath baithe baithe i used to also enjoy i i think um, one of my favorite shows was dexter and his laboratory yeah yeah i loved powerpuff powerpuff girls i still watch uh, powerpuff girls sometimes i had a t-shirt I, of powerpuff powerpuff girls and i was watching yeah. okay i i never had it i still don't i i loved that show uh, there was also uh, i don't remember it was on Stone Age. I don't remember. Fl- Flintstones. Oh, Flintstones. Yeah, I used to love it. Yeah, We I loved used it. to have a dinosaur for a. It was amazing. And then uh, just the opposite. There was another TV show which was set in the future. I can't remember the name of it. If there's anybody in the chat who. Set in the future. It. Yeah, like the Flint. It was again a family of four, and uh, it was set in the future. There was an elder daughter. There was a younger son. and there were the husband and the wife and i, I can't remember the name of I the like phineas and ferb uh, phineas and ferb was amazing phineas yeah. and ferb was, i, I never liked shin chan and uh, doremon uh, that much i liked shin chan i did not like doremon <laughs> maybe when i was very young i used to watch it but then you had so many i also used to like uh, ha- uh, what was his name uh, there was this police man japanese police man uh i i i know the i know the song of that <laughs> of all the things yeah nice but but yeah it was a good show yeah it was anime for us now to we have studio ghibli producing such a beautiful range of anime for us uh, but at that time i think those naruto and dragon ball z Ooh. pokemon I I really want to go back and watch Dragon Ball Z because I was very young when I started watching Dragon Ball Z and then I just fell out of it because it was one of the series that was never ending. I just yeah yeah yeah. It. it was it was great. Dragon Ball Z when started was good, very good. 
same with the uh, uh, that um, power rangers that used to power rangers is, which what power rangers were your like favorite which, i don't remember there are like quite a lot of them spd yeah um, i loved spd power ranger spd that song i remember power ranger spd duniya ke rakhwale ka Oh, uh, Keith, uh, lovely song. I still can't do that particular action they used to have with the uh, with, with some device. With phone. I had that, with that, I had that phone toy with me wow. when I was young, and then and then mask. So big memory. I used to be really really like, like Mystic Force, and but then SPD used to always win for some reason. So I used to really like them. Yeah, yeah, they, that was one of the best of their series, and I only watched that. Nice. I have no other reference. There used to be this uh, TV show on Disney, which was about three regular college-going girls, but they are secretly spies, and it used to be called Totally Spies. And I would love it, and I have never met any individual who. So this happened with me for about two TV shows. One was Detective Conan, which was again an anime series, Japanese anime, I think. And uh, so Detective Conan was this kid who was brilliant. he was supposed to be my age but he was so brilliant and he would solve so many cases that somebody gave him a serum to kill him but unfortunately instead of dying he became a 7 year old his physical appearance became uh, so he looked like he was 7 but he was actually 18 or 16 whatever and uh, it was so interesting to watch him because then he would have these gadgets because nobody would believe a 7 year old who solving murder cases and everything so he would have this gadget which would you know if he points it at you you will faint and then you can go behind and you can speak on his behalf so you're speaking so he's speaking in your behalf in your voice and everyone thinks it's you who's speaking but it's not you, i don't know it's very <laughs> but then i never met anybody who had seen detective conan no i haven't yeah. but there is a fan of Conan, I think yes. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. I've seen it. I really want to go back and read the mangas or watch the TV series. And then there was this totally spice. For some reason, I used to really like spy and detective stuff. I, I can't do it now for the life. I don't remember. There was a film, I think, of two brothers, sibling duo, um, who were spies. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, yeah. They went to that uh, Charles Darwin's island also, and. I don't remember the. Well, it was fun. It was Spy Kids. Shantanu, Spy thank kid. you Spy so much. Yes. Spy Kids. One kid. of the best films that I saw as a kid. I loved yeah. it. Spy Kids was really, really nice, interesting. I yeah. liked it, especially the gadgets. They were pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think Shin Chan uh, team also made a few films later. I don't remember their. Shinchan was a disaster kid. After yeah yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. We we decide. But yeah, I used to like Doraemon only because of the anywhere Doraemon. <laughs> <laughs> so my whole thing with Doraemon was I would I wanted to know what is the gadget that's coming out today because that's interesting, and of course I would just stop watching because it was very predictable what Nobita is going yeah. to do with it. It was very predictable. <laughs> So I only wanted to know the gadget. So at one point I would just watch it up to a point and then be like, okay, take I'm done with it. I a similar do. show was Kitretsu uh, that used to air on Disney. Yeah. I, Disney or Hangama, I don't remember. I think it was on Hangama. I had grown Hangama. older by that time, so I didn't watch Kitretsu, but it was still fun. Yeah, yeah. So that was Hangama, maybe. Right. What yes. So those are the shows that kind of absolutely you know, make us nostalgic now, and it's only been what twenty years, just twenty two decades, not more than that. For you, yes. For me, two and a half decades. So see, now you're revealing your age also. So that's four and a that's, half decades, guys. Four and a half decades. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half of them watching cartoons. <laughs> या हमारे जमाने में बातें होती हमारे जमाने में व्हाट डू यू गाइस वॉच हमारे जमाने में शक्तिमान आता शक्तिमान इज आल्सो नॉट माय जमाना टू बी ऑनेस्ट बट या शक्ति शक्तिमान इज आई डू सो आई हैव दिस लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल रियली लाइक हाथेम एंड एवरीथिंग आई हेटेड हाथेम आई 
because i hated the graphics yeah yeah, yeah. horrible horrible vfx horrible vfx yeah. horrible vfx but so anyway, I, I like the music and their uh, background score i remember the song of hatim the music of hatim i never they on star plus i think yeah star uts yeah star so one maybe. Star, star one maybe there was, a, there was a tv channel called star one for those who don't know uh, they used to show shish fir koi hai and other horror shows mm-hmm. also i remember there used to be this one ad jiske baad shish fir koi hai ki ad aati thi and i knew that ad and jaise it would be about to end i would turn it off the tv <laughs> and then i have calculated the exact amount of time which was i think 48 seconds or something and i would yeah. count until that number and then jaise hi wo number khatam hota tha i would turn back on wow such a mathematical kid you were i never <laughs> thought of such things but i think i've come a long way from uh, being able to talk about uh, ghost stories on chalchitra talks I I I do ghost story sessions, but I am. I can't. I, I mean, I do it now because I want to act cool and everything. But deep down, I'm just like dying a slow death. Because you know, when you read history, and there are so many myths attached to these heritage sites, historical sites. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I, was, I was. Have you been to? So one of my friends uh, has this. So my best friend's friend is from Shimla. a lot of my friends are also from shimla but i'm going to talk about that particular friend yeah and the amount of time it takes from him to uh, takes him to get to his house from say uh, the mall road to his place is about 15 minutes give or take or maybe 30 minutes at max he started guiding my friend to shimla to his house and he would stop at every fifth place and he be like you know this is yahan pe ye hua tha yahan pe hua tha so this ghost lives here you would turn right okay this ghost lives here. and it took them approximately 4 and a half to 5 hours to reach his place which usually at max you can reach by 30 minutes so only because he was giving him a ghost tour <laughs> it wasn't a heritage tour but it was a horror tour of sorts i love ruskin bond's uh, ghost stories you know whatever he wrote for children i haven't read them one Are of the best good? writers because yeah they are really good because he he's from the hills he he, of course. he lived his entire life in masuri and there are so many because masuri again was a british you know hill state right, all right, the hill right. stations were british establishments because they couldn't bear delhi's garmi which we also can't but they were from a colder place and they were very cold people also <laughs> so uh, anyway but they they made hill station their summer summer house now there are so many stories about uh, european ghosts that were roaming around these hill stations ki udhar maine ek ek lady ko dekha jo ro rahi thi ek koi british lady aisi kai sari kahaniyan hain in these hill stations yeah. i love those stories have you know uh, ghost stories of shimla hills it's by minakshi choudhury no i mean but i'll, I'll definitely read it you should you should i think she was she's the wife of a certain uh, ias officer who's posted in himachal and mm-hmm. while he was in shimla or around shimla she would interview a lot of people uh, so like we are talking and you tell me oh my neighbor you know he knows a lot of ghost stories so i would go out of my way meet your neighbor sit down with him and talk about the ghost note it down and then those are the stories that have made it to the book and it's very wow. interesting because a lot of people um, are from shimla so you can kind of validate it through a certain somebody like known ka known nikal aata hai so you yeah. know those stories are somehow uh, even if they are not real uh, an individual who actually exists has written them down it's not like the author thought of it and were like theek hai this is a ghost yeah, story there are, there are uh, energies of course i don't believe in ghosts and souls and all but i you know what we call vibes goodbye bad you know what i a few days ago uh, you're from you're gen z right yeah 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 2000. so there's this reel uh, that that i saw on instagram recently it was about in science we call it energy in religion we call it uh, in, religion, yeah. in religion we call it something and in uh, generation gen z we call it like vibe <laughs> i saw that reel <laughs> oh my god That's this is it state that so, i this this ghost doesn't have a good vibe yeah, yeah, yeah. very bad <laughs> old yeah. 
but that's very interesting i also want to talk to you about something ha huh? my whole thing with go started with a film called krishna cottage uh, i have not heard of it i haven't i have heard of it i haven't seen it it's a, it's a mess of a film it is so I, you I, you are not a, no longer afraid of ghosts no no i love that film and i am still afraid of ghosts <laughs> but krishna cottage is a film that you should all watch if you are if you want a guilty uh, cringe watch watch krishna cottage oh uh i think you guys can still see me i think ishan just disappeared ishan, and he's ishan, joining ishan. he's he's back he's back he's back hi ishan i'm back you disappeared yes. on me like a ghost <laughs> see see we are talking about ghosts and this is happening yeah something is wrong with my the vibe is not nice of your place yeah the vibe the, the vibe is horrible <laughs> but <laughs> hero somebody mentioned hero have you seen hero uh, yeah, i think yeah. it's shantanu yeah, and chinmaya chinme shantanu and koder rama are talking about hero i i never liked hero i'm sorry guys i never liked hero i love that show and i still you know i remember the song of that show hero ki kya baat hai ma durga uske saath hai and then there were two two of his colleagues uh, you know dholu and bubbly yeah oh, wonderful cringe show oh, i i was i i think i saw the cringe and i decided not to watch it <laughs> see what happens is if you are in academia it's a boring space very dry space so you watch so much cringe that you i think of... i i think i dry, i think i'll enjoy it now yeah yeah so i watch films like bagwan uh, over and over again it's a full cringe film but i love it i don't know why it must be nice you have seen bagwan i've seen bagwan it took me a time to remember <laughs> that's what parents quote to their kids <laughs> in india <laughs> when you refuse to make them a cup of tea yeah, so yeah, yeah. salman they, you you'll be directly you know linked to salman khan and compared to salman khan in bagwan <laughs> but yes but hero is interesting He was a school student, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. High school. But he never student. looked like a school student. Oh. He he was somebody who failed, or I think joined late, or something like that happened. Had happened with him. Yeah, it was a very unbelievable story. I'm sorry, guys, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'll watch it again and review it. Let me know if you guys would like to do that, and we can have another discussion, an in-depth conversation about hero. Hero, what's the matter? Madhurga, what's the matter? दुश्मन और सब खबर था ओके आई डोंट रिमेंबर नो नो बबली इसके यार डो या आई वाज ऑलमोस्ट देयर आई हैव नेवर वॉच्ड विकराल और घबराल आई आई कांट आई थिंक इफ विकराल वाज दिस गाय हु वाज ट्राइंग हु वुड वेयर एन ओवरकोट विद शेड्स एंड घबराल वाज आई कांट रिमेंबर हाउ घबराल लुक्ड बट विकराल वाज अ कूल डूड Yeah, I don't know if you all watched the uh, Akkad Bakkad Bombay Bo, another horror comedy show. It used to air on uh, Star Bharat or Star, I don't remember Star Plus or something. So it's no. it's another show that you could see. Okay. Hmm. You were talking about Krishna Cottage, though. Yeah, Krishna Cottage. I think it's it's one of the first Ekta Kapoor's films. I think it was Ekta Kapoor who made Krishna Cottage. I don't remember the filmmaker. Okay. And uh, weird story. It's it's about college students and ajeeb hi kahani. I don't want to talk about it. Uski ajeeb hi kuch kahani thi. There was no story at all, but there was great songs in that. So I loved hmm. the songs. Is it like uh, the movie Kal in which uh, Ajay Ajay Devgan is a lion, a tiger, something? No, I don't know. Obi, ऐसा कुछ किया है तो. I have no idea, but I think this is something. But okay, ठीक है. Let's move on. Yeah. From uh, what the uh, horror movies and ghost stories, I want to talk to you about skincare. Hmm. Uh, I am somebody who doesn't care about uh, <laughs> myself. I, you know, I, I, I hardly. 
talk about skin care to anybody but i use uh, mama arts products a lot their onion onion oil uh, shampoo i think is it is it working for you is it helping yeah, yeah. you to decrease the hair yeah, fall because uh, in delhi the, the water was not that good the quality of water was very bad so i my my hair got destroyed after after one or two months living in delhi so i started using that uh, so i think it helped me at that time now i'm i'm using i'm using the good old uh, hair and shoulder and whatever, hair and shoulder <laughs> whatever they have i don't remember so i i, I get anything I just yeah but i was just kidding because i know you're not very much yeah, into yeah. things okay but you were talking about perfumes before we got yeah, into the call i am my atar with me so it's it's one of i don't know if you can see it but i'll, I'll just read out it's got nafasat the urdu word nafasat and uh, it's by sugandh ko in hazrat ganj lucknow so if anybody comes to lucknow give me a call i'll tell you where it is in hazrat ganj the next time i travel to whenever i travel to lucknow i'm going to ask yeah, yeah. i'm going to give you a call and so what uh, there's this thing about uh, perfumes right they talk about notes the base note the other two notes yeah, what yeah. Uh, they give you a, a strip and right. they, they ask you to smell right and it's it's the intensity of the perfume that you know it hmm. and they also try then divide it with um, feminine or masculine and unisex based right. on the intensity of the perfume uh, usually i use the uh, i this one is more feminine in the sense of the intensity it's not too strong nafasat uh, there's another counterpart of nafasat called nazakat uh, in sugandh ko that you can try uh, wonderful uh, i tried it this time when i was in lucknow okay So I'm just going to note down. Cost of hundred rupees, so a good investment oh. and a a thousand rupees if you want. So this cost you two hundred rupees. Yeah, yeah, two hundred rupees for this much of, and this might go because there's there's a procedure of using atar. You can't use it like a perfume. So they have yeah. atar perfumes also. So you get it if you want. They can make it a perfume and give it to you for two hundred rupees. Mm-hmm. I think three hundred rupees. I chose to get the original atar. Okay. Just put it across your uh, wrist and just rub it. Uh, just one drop of atar, and that would work for the entire day. Usually, that's how you use it, and that's how I use it. Mm-hmm. And then you can also apply it behind your ears, the place where you won't sweat much. Yeah. Uh, so those are the places that you apply atar. Got and it. And now, in Kanpur, me atar is the thing that you. Uh, use not perfumes and sprays, deodorants. So I would okay. These are from Unnao, Lucknow, and uh, Kannauj. Kannauj is known for their atars. Roses also. Okay. Sorry. I was I was going to say roses. Kannauj is rose known for its roses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. कई सारे आर्क से बनते हैं, जो which is the juice of a of a flower. Wow, nice. So, रोज के भी अतर बनते हैं और गुलाब जल उससे बनता है तो गुलाब जल बहुत काम होता है गुलाब जल आई थिंक गुलाब जल इसमें भी पड़ता है सो दे यूज गुलाब जल एंड नजाक एंड कॉफी कॉफी आल्सो ब्लैक पेपर कॉफी फ्लेवर दिस इज ब्लैक पेपर एंड कॉफी दिस आई लव दैट इट्स 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 वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कॉफी अतर्स दैट आई यूज I have I've used in a long time. Nice. I I suddenly want to go for other shopping now. I think it is available online it's, oh. uh, on a place called sendcard dot com. Send. So, yeah, sendcard dot com. K A R T. Oh, send s c e n t k a r t dot com. Yeah. Got so it. people who are not in not in Lucknow, they can always go and get this online, and they they. they are available there they are not available on amazon and other places okay and sugandh ko is probably lucknow's oldest uh, atar shop perfume shop they started mm-hmm. in 1850s you know around the rebellion so very old shop nice. i think they have mentioned it somewhere the, the 
no they haven't but get it it's 10 ml uh, and that's enough for you to try out and it's not expensive nice that's very interesting um i think there's somebody who's commented also there's a village in up where petrichor athar is made a genuine fragrance yeah yeah, yeah wo mitti ka geeli mitti yeah ke usse bhi banta hai i don't know what they call it uska ek naam tha hindi mein mm-hmm. to geeli mitti ki jo khushboo hoti hai kannauj mein they make athar on that it's one of the best athars you won't find it anywhere else it then in mm-hmm. And it's it's an expensive attar. It's not cheap. How expensive? You get ten ml for like five uh, hundred rupees ish, six hundred rupees, this much. Then it's not that expensive, right? Like yeah, it's not really... that expensive if you are using Park Avenue or other shit companies <laughs> that that you get for two. No offense intended to anybody who uses Park Avenue. <laughs> I used it for a long. time. Ishan's opinions are his own. We don't endorse them. <laughs> We are calling any company shit company. Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> no, no. use whatever you want to do. For a long time. I yeah. use Park Avenue, and then there's another company I don't remember. Uh, that's from UAE. So okay. that's again a other company. I got, got it from Dubai when I went there. So if you mm-hmm. are in Dubai, get the best from the Gold Souk. Best other from Gold Souk in Dubai. That's the place you should go. Wonderful, guys. If you have any uh, fragrance recommendations for us, please let us know in the comments below. I'll be very happy to read them. <laughs> There was this um, somebody had gifted me um, a small bottle of other ether. I used to think it's ether. Whatever. I'm sorry. My bad. Both ether and ether are the same thing. You Great. can call it anything. So I think Khadi has this small uh, jasmine ki fragrance, right? So somebody gifted me that fragrance roll, and now I use it on my books. So anytime I'm getting bored, I'll just rub it across my books. I don't know why. I don't like to use it because then I feel like I smell of agarbattis. But I <laughs> rub it off on all my books. But that's Agar nice. Sometimes irritate. Uh... while reading you know people use agarbattis in their libraries and it's horrible mm-hmm. now i think they have those uh, air fresheners that you use uh, that small device that sprays out air yeah, freshener yeah. like 10 15 minutes yeah but i don't think that's you you can just rub off some it are on your bookshelves and places and it would give you the fragrance for the entire day You can try that if you have money to spend at the on on books. So do that. Got it. Nice. Abhishek has recommended David of Cold Water. Nice. That's amazing. I think I'm in that age where I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to smell like. Definitely not. Um, I think very important uh, to take perfumes very seriously. uh when you meet people and our work include a lot of networking so it it becomes integral part of your entire attire mhm if you go to any show which makes perfume inspired by premium perfumes like high end perfume labs is online show which makes perfume inspired by... oh nice wow this we should never met premium i'm i'm very support Written for premium perfumes, <laughs> so I've never tried it. Nice. I think I'm going to try it. But anyways, I, I like smelling good. So I'm like good with whatever. Yeah. Works. Usually it's my mother's fragrance, <laughs> but now I'm trying to f- figure out stuff for myself. Yeah. But yeah, this is nice. But do you know anything about the notes, like uh, the base note and the? Other notes which come in. I don't know what the notes are. I remember was a perfume movie. I think uh, there was this movie perfume. And uh, have you seen the movie perfume? No, no. Have you heard of the movie or the book? No, I'm listening about no. it right you, now. Probably. I am not giving going to give you any spoilers. Should watch it. It's slightly controversial, but um, it's a beautiful movie. Not a beautiful movie. It's a thought provoking movie okay about uh the significance of smell yeah and it's available on Netflix. i'll have to see 
the full name is perfume the story of a murderer and it's not oh, a, i mean i think you'll have to find it for yourself if someone can give a better description of or a bad explanation of the plot in the comments for perfume the movie uh, i would be more than happy to pin it on the screen and uh, that is what we we'll use to recommend it to everyone else <laughs> yeah but yeah it's it's terribly important to have a unique s- smell good smell to you maybe <laughs> absolutely i think it's just nice because you don't want to uh, destroy the nostrils of other people yes but okay there are people because we travel via metro in delhi there uh-huh. are people who use such strong perfumes and deodorants that you can't even smell anything else than their body smell or whatever so it's really disturbing to the mind while traveling via metro yeah i think sometimes people themselves are not aware about um So I like to think of uh, you remember you have you seen Sherlock Holmes the three seasons uh, I watched the first season yeah so I don't know if it comes there have you seen the one with this man who's trying to murder Sherlock Holmes who gives his uh, victims a pill no no okay but there's this guy anyway who's a prime suspect and uh, Sherlock decipher's that he lives alone because he has some shaving foam stuck here like behind his ear and he's like had you if there was someone to take care of you he would have known of it by now. they would have probably pointed it out because they would have noticed it but because you're a lonely old dying man you did nobody else noticed it so um yeah you live alone that's how he rise us and so i believe like i like to give people the benefit of doubt maybe nobody told them uh about why how they smell etc but yeah it is called a study in pink yeah it's the first episode i think a study in pink at least it's in the books it's one of the first episode uh, chapters hmm. yes so no, i haven't seen it maybe i'll watch it it's a very interesting um, take on loneliness <laughs> as a whole and uh, you know historians and uh, academicians Uh, uh, very lonely people no no you don't want to be that lonely <laughs> as the man people, from studying the thing <laughs> because these people give so much time into archives researching in libraries that uh, the social interaction is very less compared to other people who are in corporate lives and meeting and greeting lots of people going to parties <laughs> so historians do not go clubbing and it's a boring life you're free to go there nobody is talking yeah we are free of course but uh, <laughs> it's entirely your call yeah but i like parties where you kind of talk about good things like music and art uh, parties where you don't really dance and <laughs> good music i think there are parties where you can just talk and not dance that's entirely yeah, yeah. I only go to those parties. <laughs> i ask the host <laughs> basically you want the music to be low enough so that you can hear each other yeah got it understood there are parties there are horrible parties in delhi where you have dj playing uh, you know all the haryanvi songs in full volume that yeah. you can't even listen to the other person do you have any favorite haryanvi do you know any haryanvi songs that are stuck to your mind <laughs> recently there's some uh, there's some song on gypsy and uh, i don't remember the song but it's in every reel now i i, I don't know uh, mera something hai sarkari officer something that's about the sarkari officer who owns a gypsy and it's the wow. lover of that officer singing the song it's very cringe wow. very very cringe but i think wo main teen din se sun raha hu abhi mere dimag mein tha bhi chala gaya बट दिन लगातार रील्स पे वही दिखाए मुझे यार तेरा चेतक पे चले और सॉन्ग्स आई डोंट रिमेंबर इन दिल्ली दे टू टू प्ले इट ऑन डीजे सो वी नेवर एंड सर्च फॉर फॉर दोस सॉन्ग्स 
there were good songs old songs you know in punjabi but i don't listen to haryanvi that much do you listen to music in general yeah uh, because i try to play the sitar so when you practice classical music you kind of listen right. to a the classical music so i listen to a lot of classical and semi classical got it yeah right. you have aruna sairam rahul desh pande neena barmi uh, felwa right. naik uh, in sitar you have vilayat khan saab ravi shankar anushka shankar all yeah. these people playing and producing the best of music thanks that that's very interesting in rock i love this uh, i don't remember the name agni agni is the band uh, yeah it's a hindi band in india college band i love agni uh, there's another uh, i love uh, which is that euphoria Pal- palash yeah. sen euphoria <laughs> and indian ocean by rahul bram and his these are songs that i these are not rock but So but these are the ones you, yeah. Are there any ones that you've picked up recently songs. that you've discovered recently? Songs, artists, anything? Uh, artists, me. I discovered somebody called Nina Barmi on Darbar, uh, which is okay. who's a classical singer, and you all must listen to her recitations and older. She's not there anymore. I don't know where she disappeared. So I, I was discussing this with my friend this morning that we can't even get a trace of. Nina Barmi now on Google. Yeah, uh, she is, she has disappeared from the music scene. She was very young. She was forty something, uh, and hers is the most listened Darbar recital. So, do listen to that. Darbar is a classical festival. Please send me the link for it. I would love to watch it. People should should listen to Darbar. It's a it's an NGO that is promoting uh, classical music. They have their festival every year in London. So, if any London person listening to us, please go and listen to Darbar, nice. attend Darbar concerts. It happened just last week, this year's Darbar. So, I I, I discovered her, and I discovered somebody called uh, Namita Chaudhary, I think, okay. uh, who, uh, who has a Thumri on YouTube. Uh-huh. I, uh, Eri Sakhi, I think. Eri Sakhi, who if he agar I something like that. Oh yeah, yes, 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 yes. In Tumri, I also love Kavita Seth and Rekha Bharadwaj. Kavita Ji and Kanishk, uh, you know, produce best of the music. Like Rangi Sari by Kavita Seth is one of my favorite tracks of all time. And right. Rekha Bharadwaj, Amri Atariya, Pe Aaja Re Savari is, I think. I think Rekha Bharadwaj has done some of my favorite gazals also. The Suitable Boy, she was amazing. Yeah, Suitable Boy as a show was also very nice. I don't know why people didn't like it or. I, I also found it very satisfactory. Yeah, it was good. Uh, if not, they had Tabu in it. Of all, Tabu is I think the best of the talent that we have in India. She is a national treasure, uh, and we should <laughs> preserve her. Uh, and her acting in some sense absolutely I love that show but yeah it was i think i i really loved the gazals in a suitable boy yeah. and i think regha bhardwaj is the one who sings them and i was just i think kavita said kavita oh, said yeah kavita said i'm sorry yeah it's kavita said and Seth. they they sound very similar kavita yeah, yeah. Rekha Ji's voice, tonal quality is almost <laughs> same. But I had Kavita Seth in mind, and I loved the castles in them. Hmm. Yeah. And Rekha Ji recently followed Karavan. We were very happy to see our favorite singer wow. following Karavan. And on that note, I would request everybody to follow Kitabi Cabins and like this stream if you haven't already. Uh, I can't see the number of people, but yeah, cross a good number. Let's hope so. Uh, but also subscribe to Karvan. The link is in the description, and you can also follow Ishan. And if you have some queries, etc., related to Karvan or anything, you can. Uh, we've also linked Ka- Ishan's Insta profile in the description, so you can go. It's one of the most boring profiles, but okay. <laughs> I I usually don't think about what I'm I'm posting. I just post it, and I. I I face the repercussions later. 
It's absolutely all right. But Ishan, this was absolutely amazing. Is there anything that you would want to talk about before we wrap this session? No, I'll just read out some recommendations that I have for all of you, so okay. that you know, uh, you can you can watch it later. You asked me about the books that I was reading. I mentioned Arshia. So there were other books that I I think you all would like. Uh, there's I love Sudha Murthy so. All yeah. books of Sudha Murthy are recommended. Anirudh Kanisetti is the Lord of Deccan is a good book to read if you are interested in history books. And I recommend only history books today because uh, I don't know. Archer has recommended good books, I think, in your mm -hmm. podcast and uh -huh. session. Kavita has been a part of your session, so read Kavita Puri and read Archer Malhotra, all of you. Uh, Manu Pillai is of course Manu Pillai has been a part of this. Uh, this channel, so read Rebel Sultan by Manu or uh, the courtesan Mahatma and the Italian Brahmin. You also can read Nehru and the Spirit of India by Manash Virag Bhattacharji that I mentioned. Nehru's Discovery of India is of course one of the best history books. He was not a historian, so you have to keep that in mind while reading it. He was a politician activist who was jailed, so he had no resources or archives to refer to. Yeah. He wrote it on his own. So read that. Uh, Yashaswini Chandra's The Tale of the Horse, because I think histories of these animals are very interesting. Nobody did it on horses, so Yashaswini did it. And then after Yashaswini, Wendy Doniger did it uh, for the medieval horses. She has talked about mythological horses and horses in ancient India. So. And Ruby Lal's, of course, the last book that I would recommend is Ruby Lal's Empress, which is on Noor Jahan, and domestic uh, domesticity and power in the early Mughal world. So how domestic life was uh, in the Haram, in the Mughal Haram, which I think has a lot of different connotations now. But uh, <laughs> you'll you'll get to know what a Haram was and where women the where women kind of had an agency in medieval India. Me, uh, movies, I think I've already mentioned Mili and uh, yeah. Last Film. So I also like Lal Singh Chadda, contrary to popular belief that Lal Singh Chadda is not a good film. I okay. love Lal Singh Chadda because it's a, it's a, it's a new take on Forrest Gump. Uh, and oh, yeah. I actually liked the, so that is one part of the movie that I actually liked. Uh, the only part of the movie that I actually liked. Yeah. Uh, I, Horrible acting, of course. Uh, I, I wish it could have been done better and there were more events like that. But whatever they tried to cover, I think it was a it was a half-hearted attempt. But I wish they would just yeah. work on it a little more. I, I think it was not that good. Uh, it's the same expression that the actor have in every film. Yeah. So, you know, in PK, in, in other films also. So it's the same expressions. Uh, but I like the concept of the film and I love Forrest Gump, of course, the original is uh, the real deal that you should watch. I also watched on Netflix called Darlings, a film called Darlings. Uh, yeah. And Alia Bhatt. Yeah, Alia Bhatt and then the other actor, I don't remember his name, uh, but yeah, one of the best actings of Alia Bhatt, uh, one of the best roles that she was offered maybe. She, she's a good actress with uh, not enough opportunities to act, maybe. I think I liked her uh, Gangu by Katiawadi also, okay. which was a strong film, yeah. but poor storyline. And okay. <laughs> I feel like a uh, film critic at this point, but I'm not. <laughs> then yeah. I think uh, Dasvi is also a good film, Abhishek Bachchan's Dasvi on Netflix. Okay. Uh, Abhishek Bachchan is one of the best actors, according to me. The only problem is we kind of associate him with Amitabh Bachchan. Okay. We compare him with his father, yeah. who is as, he's a big person. He's, he's a tall actor in some sense, and we can't compare Amitabh, right. Abhishek, or Abhishek with Amitabh Bachchan. So, that's how I think Dasvi is good because we don't compare him with Amitabh at all. Right. What did you like about Dasvi? Uh, 
I'll watch it tonight if it's good. I like Abhishek Bachchan's acting uh, and Danish Hussain's uh, cameo in the film as librarian. <laughs> nice. So I, I didn't know he was a part of the movie. Who kind of graduates uh, while in jail. Okay. And his wife uh, becomes the, uh, the, the, the thing. The, she's standing for the election in the election. Yeah. It's a nice well, film. I think I've seen the trailer. Um, there's a show on Z, Z or I don't remember, Sony Live. Sony mm -hmm. Live, there's a show called Maharani. Uh, it's on Bihar's politics and political history. Yeah. Do watch it if you get time. Got it. Uh, it's about a politician who faces paralytical attack, is in jail, and then followed by his, his seat is taken over by his wife. Uh, played okay. by uh, what's her name? I I keep forgetting the name of these actresses and actors. I am very horrible with names, but you you can check it online. Google has I, I uh, so. given us some good things. <laughs> then I think Village Rockstar. If you haven't watched it on uh, on, I think it's on movie or Netflix also has. Okay. Rockstar. It's one of the best films. A Sami's film. Mm -hmm. uh, again. Rajat Kapoor. Saakho dekhi. Okay. Uh, Shatranshi Khiladi by Satyajit Ray, Huma Kureshi, yes, others, thank you so much. Huma Kureshi in Maharani. Sorry, Huma Kureshi, if you're watching it. I'm really sorry for what on your name. But yeah, those are the films that I think uh, are must watch for all of you. Shows me if you want, uh, you can watch Crown. I I'm watching Crown right now. I'm loving yeah. it. Is it good? But yeah, it's really I've heard so much about the, like, a lot of my friends watch the show. See, the problem with historical shows is very unique, unique problem with historical shows. You can get the facts right, but especially in the case of Crown, you have to consult with the royal family to right. write the show. So I think those are, there are other, I am a big Brooklyn Nine-Nine fan. So if you are into comedy, yeah. short, uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine or uh, Big Bang Theory. I think Shubham also mentioned Big Bang Theory last night on Chalchitra Talk. So <laughs> I would I would echo his views on Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I, I like Big Bang Theory a lot. And if people are interested into history shows, I would again recommend Siyasat uh, okay. on YouTube. It, it was one of uh, Epic's uh, shows. Epic TV's finest uh, TV channel today in, in Indian television. If you want to watch historical shows, watch Epic Channel. And Epic has also an online streaming platform called Epic On. So okay. you find all the older shows there. I think the older shows are better on Epic. So Raja Rasoya and Kahaniya, Adrishya, Ekant, um, and then this, of course, uh, Siyasat are shows that you should watch. Raja Rasoi and Nikani, I think most of you have watched maybe, but do that. And the last show that I would recommend is The Man in the High Castle on Amazon Prime. Oh, you have a lot of TV shows to recommend. I watch a lot and, of TV shows. It's yeah. it's half of my recommendation. I have so many, uh, but I can't go on and on. on the, no, you but definitely can the go on. The Man in the High Castle is of course one of the best because it's on, it's on, it's on Amazon Prime. Okay. It's an alternative history show which talks okay. about the world is taken over by the Japan, the Japanese and the Nazis, the two allies of uh, in World War II. They have yeah. won the war and now they are ruling and they have divided the United States into two parts, East and West. And the East is, I think, it's called uh, Higher Nazis Reach and the Western is called the Pacific West or something. So West is ruled by Japan and East is ruled by Nazis. And, and how does it look? Yeah, so that's that's the that's the oh, that's also very interesting. It's not history; it's alternate history. What mm -hmm. ifs of history, as we call it. You know, what if this has yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. So we those also are have. The, I know you're not interested, but we also have a what if of Marvel on, I think Amazon Prime. <laughs> really, you have all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, but like we do. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, in general, there is a TV show that exists. What if? Wow, wow. They didn't even. They weren't very creative with the name. They just called it What if. So if any filmmaker or TV filmmaker is watching it, please make something on What ifs in Indian history. It would be one of the best shows. Absolutely. It. Yeah, I so was. You know. Um. I really wanted to do this podcast once upon a time where I would just sit down with people and discuss. What if this part of history hadn't happened? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. take up some seriously. Sh- stupid things that have happened in history uh which have which would have led to massive massive like suppose somebody would have just missed a bus yeah so, and we would have missed out on say independence just small things but unfortunately my history for us also because we are so much into you know what had happened what has happening what is happening at etc but we forget about what ifs which makes our craft much more interesting what if aurangzeb uh, lost the battle of succession and darashuku becomes the became the emperor of india what would be the course of history what if uh, boxers or 1857 war of 1857 never happened so what was so that's something that's very interesting unfortunately i do not have the um, a right amount of language for it right or amount of knowledge for it but you do so somebody mentioned samvidhan also yes samvidhan sham benigal samvidhan is one of the truest history shows and his uh, bharat ek khoj on doordarshan is again and his student uh, govind nehlani made a show called tamas so if you are interested I've heard of in tamas i've heard of tamas in history was these three shows And I think we we have what ifs coming up in the chat. What if, <laughs> yeah. not what if partition had not happened? What if Humayun? Uh, never. <laughs> yes, that's a that's a funny story. In our history classes, Humayun fell from the stairs of his library. So we yeah. should be afraid of going into libraries. All historians. So <laughs> he fell from that stair. Right. Even even Dara Shikho, I think no no not Dara Shikho. There's another. Tarshuk was of course murdered and butchered, but uh, I don't remember the person. Shambhavi also had the same fortune as had the same fate as Humayun, another Mughal king. So they had very bad relation with stairs. Nice. This is <laughs> very very interesting. Albuk died while playing polo, and uh, there yeah. are very interesting comments that are coming. What if colonization had never happened? This is Gitanjali. Oh, what? What if? Wait, what are your what ifs? My. In general, what are what is your what if? And I was asking the audience in general as well. Ah, so yeah, I please tell. I think audience might have the best what ifs. This colonization thing is of course very good because our GDP was very good before the Britishers came to India. So I don't know what if colonization colonization didn't happen. We might. Do you think we would still be going through recession? It's just a very stupid question. Of course, <laughs> of course, recession. I think is part of the global market, and they they are giving any sorts of. I'm not an economist, so I don't know. But even America went through recession in 2008. That kind of destroyed the whole global economy. We was we survived that attack in 2008 uh, because of our economic policies. Mm-hmm. So it's. It's what if, yeah. I think racism wouldn't have spread across the globe if colonization had not happened. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. There were quite a few things that um, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything because my history is not my forte. <laughs> Somebody should write on the uh, write on what ifs. It's it's a Worthwhile. Yes, sir. If anyone uh, thinks that they are confident enough, please write to me on vani at the rachel chitra talks dot com. We'll start a podcast on it. Sudhi Pratha would be still present, and trains would not be here. Of course, that could be a uh, could be could be would be. So <laughs> we don't know. At least now we have good trains. IRCT is much better than what it used to be in two thousand eight. They have a better <laughs> website. And good food. Do they? They always. I don't know for some reason. I always have to make a new password for my IRCTC. I just. I'm. I am horrible at using that website. Really? I. 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 
I make passwords for my Gmail every day because I keep forgetting it. So whenever I log in from my laptop or my phone, problems. Yeah. Old. This is this is called aging, Ishan. Yeah, old age. <laughs> this aging. But this was amazing, Ishan. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, yeah, and I really, really loved your TV show recommendations. And I think I'm going to watch at least a few of them. And I'm also going to watch uh, the Abhishek Bachchan movie tonight. That's that's yes. Yes, and I'm also like I'm really, really uh, inspired to pick up the Indian epics retold, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, Ikramanu genius. Please read him. Yes, but thank you so much, uh, Ishan, and I hope we can have you again on the channel. Yes, most definitely. Thank you, everybody. I hope I didn't bore you to death. Of course, you did. You you enjoy and please follow Chal Chitra Talks and Kitabi yeah. Cabins. And also subscribe to Carvash. Uh, it's it's in the contract, so we have to say it for each other. <laughs> no, I I didn't it, I didn't sign the contract, but yeah. <laughs> I was but paid. So do. <laughs> but this is amazing to have you, Ishan. And thank you so much for coming here. It was really really thank insightful you. to learn so much from you. Thank you. Bye, and everybody. I think this is a great idea of what if, and you should pursue it. If you don't do it, I'll uh, I'll. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I'll definitely do it. Yes, but thank you, guys. I hope you. I mean, uh, Weber and I will be streaming soon, and because everyone has been asking for a skincare stream, we would be showing it super soon on the channel, hopefully. But let's see, and you let me know how you liked it. I might, um, I might take up some products from your skincare. Great, great, great. And uh, if in case you would like a separate episode on what if, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, if you want us to take up on this idea and make more videos on it, uh, do comment about what if hashtag what if, and we'll be back with it. And uh, Ishan, I'll take you, and we'll take you. Ishan and I will take your leave now. But have a nice evening. But I'll just end my stream. Good night, guys. Bye, bye.